Well, it sure does feel good out here. I tell you what, I just want to tell you, about the first time I ever met Baby DeCappy, I get a little teary-eyed when I think about it, but uh, I was out fishing with Michael Stipe, and uh, he said, hey, isn't that Baby DeCappy on the other side of the lake there? And I said, no, nah, it's him way on over there. It looked like Baby DeCappy. Let's just leave him be. I didn't think it could be Baby DeCappy, but it was. And we said, uh, well, let's just go over there and see if he's drinking a Coors. So we went over there. And I tell you what, the first thing you did was sit down and try to jap attack. It's just all out, just jap attack, just going crazy, he's a nut, and I don't want to talk to him again. But the thing about it is, he's baby to Cappy, and he has a great memory, so he followed us home. And I said, listen, here's what we got to do. You got to hide your eyebrows right now. And he said, no way, I'm not going to ever do that. So I said, well, there ain't nothing we can do then, just sit here and watch him drink his coors all over the house every daggum where there was baby the cap it was there but i said listen let's just deal with him and i think everything will be just fine and i looked at him in the eye and i said baby why are you so damn the cappy and he just sort of laughed and started to stammer a little bit there and i let him alone and just kind of pushed him aside and let everything go down just like it should nice and smooth and we just looked at each other and said why can't this be love? And somebody said, well, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it does to me. So I think what we ought to do is just, just kiss you goodbye, and then, you know, if you see Baby DiCapia again, then you just respect him and just let it be. Let it be good, too. And that's him, Baby DiCapia, right there. Yeah.